Jamaican rums. Well, Jamaican rums are unique in um, if, well, unique as if, if you compare them with other styles of rums. Say rums from Barbados, rums from um, the Spanish islands, rum from Central America. They're unique in the fact that they have their own characteristic. It's, it's how they're made. Um, some will say they're robust, um, really big in flavor, lots of fruit, orchard fruits, apricots, oranges, um, boiled sweets. Um, they're made with a, a blend of column still, which is lighter rums, and the pot still, which are heavier styles of rums. They have quite a smoky type of effect. There's also a technique they use, which they actually um, call dunder, and actually use that as part of the fermentation of making a rum. Bit technical, but it gives them that unique aroma, a unique taste. But Jamaican rums are probably one of the uh, backbones of the rum industry. So the sugarcane actually used to make Jamaican rums are normally indigenous to Jamaica. Although saying that, they, they can buy molasses, which is the basis of making most, most rums in the Caribbean. Um, they can buy molasses from other islands. Um, the terroir for certain different estates adds the flavor value of the particular styles of rum. So let's say some like Appleton rums, all of the sugarcane that is used to make Appleton rums comes from the actual estate. So that gives it uh, its unique basis for its molasses, um, its unique basis for the yeast that's used to actually make the particular rum, and again, creating this particular style as well. Well, the different types of rums that come out of Jamaica, there are, uh, well, Jamaica's actually known, especially worldwide, for its overproof rums. So there's a lot of rums that are over, say, 63% alcohol that are coming out. Everybody knows the Ray and Nephew Overproof, which is the biggest selling overproof rum in the world. You have Rum, Rum Bar Rum. Uh, you have the Worthy Park rums as well. Uh, you have a new one called Rum Fire uh, from the Hampton Estate, which again is a, an amazing rum. So there are quite a few overproof Jamaican rums coming out of Jamaica, and that's again gives its own characteristics. As Jamaica's always known as a very strong island, so naturally the rum should be strong as well. What's the color of the Jamaican flag? Oh, black, green, and gold. So I'd probably say uh, the Ray Nephew, <laughs> only because uh, it does have um, it does have also the color of the Jamaican flag. But saying that, any of the Jamaican rums, as long as they have that characteristic of pungent, uh, strong, a strong characteristic, uh, a, a high concentration of pot still, uh, flavoring inside there, will basically signify Jamaica rums. But I think Ray and Effie Overproof is the one that everybody recognizes because it does have that color, a unique color of the Jamaica flag, of the black, the gold, and the green. Everybody in Jamaica, everyone in Jamaica that drinks rum or drinks in a way has a recipe for a rum punch. And everyone that makes a rum punch in Jamaica makes the best rum punch in the world. That is for me one of the easiest and best ways to actually drink a rum if you're not going to drink it straight. I mean, at the moment I'm drinking a, a reggae rum punch which um, I created for the Ray Nephew company well, way back in the mid 90s. And it's a blend of the Ray Nephew Overproof, uh, equal parts of pineapple juice and orange juice. And you had some, orange, um, some grenadine or strawberry syrup to add the sweetness. And you also add some citrus, some lime inside there. And what that does, it's, it's based on the old rum punch recipe of one of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, four of weak. And those can be changed around in various different variations. But reggae rum punch, keeps you smiling, gets you singing like Bob Marley. Um, for me, that's one of the best ways of drinking uh, rum. Yep, so I've just been nominated um, as the international uh, brand ambassador uh, at the most prestigious cocktail event in the world called Tales of the Cocktail in New Orleans every year. Um, I was narrowed down to the final four, but what's funny is that um, even though it, it's the international brand ambassador, and I don't actually represent a brand, I represent a category um, being a rum ambassador. So one, I'm honored for that my peers have voted for me. Two, I find it quite funny that um, I'm going up against an ambassador for Tanqueray, the ambassador for Belvedere, uh, the ambassador for Leblon, and I'm representing rum <laughs> as my, uh, my category. So um, yeah, I'm quite honored, quite honored, and uh, let's hope that in this year, the 50th anniversary of, uh, of Jamaica's independence, that, uh, that um, oh, a Jamaican might walk up on the stage and pick up that award. 